welcome to the vlog. So we are hiking Powder Face. I think it's East Ridge today. I am a little bit out of breath. It's just the beginning part is a little bit steep. Andy is hiking with me today, but I cannot keep up with him. He's super fast, even though he doesn't hike ever. But we'll get there slowly but surely. I left my hiking poles in the truck. I also don't have bug spray today, so today's kind of a mess. But that's okay. This is fun. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh, I got lost on the way to you in an orange sky by the ocean blue every mile loves my soul renewed taken by the sunrise and the golden view walking slowly in the mountains underneath the constellations yeah
Building scars from the night So far gone I was blind Hey guys, welcome to my after hike summary for Powder Face East Ridge from South. That is a mouthful, but that is what the route is called. It's called Powder Face East, and that is your objective, and you're going from the south side. So we did this hike, I think this was like last Sunday, so it's been about a week. It's a 6.2K hike, so short and sweet. Elevation gain is 523 meters, which is not bad. And it only took us three hours to do this hike. So if you are wanting something a little bit closer to Calgary, this is located in Bray Creek. So it's not too far of a drive. And if you're looking for something like a shorter hike slash moderate hike, this is definitely for you. This hike starts off pretty steep at the beginning and it's quite a little bit of a climb. It wakes up your lungs and it gets your heart pumping. Eventually this levels out a little bit to more rolling hills, more, you know, just like a chill uphill, I would say. And then you hit a beautiful, beautiful meadow, which is nice. We stopped there for a little while. And I did this one with Andy, actually. He's a lot faster than me when it comes to hiking. So he waited for me at the meadow while he took a break and I also took a break there. This meadow featured beautiful views of the valley and you can kind of see your objective from here. This is a little bit halfway past halfway of the hike and we saw cows up there. This, there was this lady that was already coming down and she'd warned us that there were cows up there. She basically said, don't worry if you hear some rustling in the trees, it's not a bear. There's just a lot of cows on this hike, which was so unexpected. I don't think I've ever seen cows this high up a mountain before. I actually have never seen cows that high up a mountain before. I did see some cows on Fullerton Loop, but Fullerton Loop is just almost like just a little baby trail. It's not like, you know, you're hiking a full mountain, but there's like cows up there, you know? So definitely was unexpected, but not at the same time because of the area around Bray Creek, there is a lot of free range cattle. So just be careful. Don't be too scared when you're doing this one that there's bears or anything, because for the most part, it's probably a cow or multiple cows so we did see quite a few cows on the way up and then a different batch of cows on the way down so we saw some babies and some mama cows on the way down and on the way up they were all bulls so it was a cool experience like i said i don't normally see cows on hikes i normally see like bighorn sheep and marmots but never cows so it was a cute fun little experience and then we continued up to the ridge which was just a very slight uphill climb to the ridge. Like I said, very, very chill. It's definitely for some people that want like a more moderate type hike. Nothing too hard, nothing too steep. This is a great one for you. It's not gonna take up too much time. Like I said, it only took us two hours and 58 minutes to complete, which is like half of the hikes that I do normally. So this includes like a break at the ridge and everything. So when we got to the ridge, we stopped there for a bit, had a snack and watched as the clouds rolled in because it looked like it was going to storm or it was gonna rain or something like that. But again, I had really amazing luck with this one. I've had really amazing luck with my hikes this year in general because when it's been supposedly gonna rain, when it's been you know, like forecasted that it was gonna rain or it looked like it was gonna rain, it didn't rain and it held off until the evening, which was nice. Very, very much appreciated. So we stayed at the summit for a bit, watched the clouds roll in and it started to get a little bit windy. So we decided to head back down. The views up there are actually really beautiful. You can see the highway up there. You can see the valley below as well as the river and everything. It's just a very, very beautiful view for a short climb. So this one is definitely family friendly. It's kid friendly, dog friendly. I highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for just a nice little little hike in the woods, you know? So if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.